Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about how to define a procedure in Maple. So if you're new to Maple, one thing I recommend doing is going here to the help menu and typing in PROC for procedure and you will get the documentation for procedure. And then if you scroll down here, there is some sample code that you could copy and paste. So I'm just going to copy that and paste it in my Word document. Now notice that I am in math mode here and um, I'll just play around with this. So I'll hit enter and see what happens. So what Maple thinks I did is I defined a procedure with four input arguments, S, U, T, and V. Uh, the description is that it forms a linear combination and what it's gonna do is it's gonna multiply the first two input items together, the S times the U, and it's going to add that to the product of T times V. And let's see if we can do this. So the name of it is called LC for linear combination, and I'll type in 2, comma, 3, comma, 10, comma, 20. All right, so before I hit enter, let's just think about what this should be. I'm expecting the computer to spit back the number, which would be 2 times 3 is 6, plus 10 times 20 is 200. I'm expecting it to spit back 206, and it did. All right, so now let's define our own procedure. So I'm going to just copy paste this code because, you know, Maple is so fussy with all of the syntax that if you start from something that's working and then modify it, it's going to be a lot easier to get to your destination than if you start from scratch. So the procedure I'm going to work with is called square it. So I'm going to define this. I'll change the name called square it. My new procedure square it's only going to have one input argument. I don't care. I could have it be C just for something different. And the description is it's going to square, find the square, like C squared. And how to do that, the mathematical operation for that is just going to be C squared or C times C. And then we end the procedure. So I'll hit enter. That's what Maple thinks I typed in. Fair enough. Let's test it out. So I'll go square it. Let's Let's put in a two. I'm expecting it's gonna spit back four. It did. Let's try a negative value just to make sure that our code doesn't break, like negative eight. I'm hoping it's gonna give 64. We could also test it with a zero or even a fraction just to make sure everything is working properly, but no reason to think that it's not. Great. So here, what we've done is we've built in a procedure. So Maple's going to compute stuff and spit back the number. We've written like a little computer code here. So your task is to get this up and running for Maple and then also see if you can use some sort of procedure or programming environment to solve your homework task.